of successful missions. Are you safe now? Safe enough. And the antimat? He decided not to shoot me after all. Please continue, sir. <clears throat> I'm all is. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine... You could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Yeah, let's not... <sighs> oh, to hell with it. I can't really blame you. Yeah. Who, who can... You After all, you're the commander. It's your job to make decisions like that. And live with the consequences. Right. It means a lot to hear that from you, Yasna. Thank you. So, if I may, I would suggest watching your next steps. Uh, th there were no more anti mats on the slides, sir. I'm afraid that's not the only threat around, aren't you? Of course I am. But I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people, how we can aid them. I can't believe I survived that. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought I was dead. Like, I thought I chose the wrong thing. Like, I went the wrong way or something. I thought I was a goner. What the hell? Why didn't it shoot me, though? For now, you can forget about the research material. The only thing left of the Arctan is its feet. Considering all the factors, I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. If there's anything more to learn, it's from the recording devices. The first antimap told us a lot. The second one is destroyed. You spoke about the probe. It should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? Huh. It's cooled down. Actually, it's right in front of me. Don't tell me it shot it. It's growing. It's growing on it. SMU. They have different numbers on them, I think. No tank, no oxygen tank. Air 12. And there's a dude in here. So you'd be dead. Because if you're not dead, you're just gonna shit out of me. Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? Extremely unreasonable of them. But it's nothing to complain about, is it? So, let's hear it. Hello, base. This is Antka. Hello, Antka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We arrived. I saw it on the slide. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the extraction site, separated the material. Base, come in. Dr. Boza wants to talk with you. Tesla here, over. We have a sort of discovery. Oh, I'm listening. 25th day. Base, this is Boza. Doctor, please 
tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. Individually, they are slender and helpless. However, when in a group, they seem to stimulate and support each other, revealing new properties. At first, they started to emit an electromagnetic field. Okay. And then? A handful of small crystals gathered together. When in a larger group, they activated and... This is our biggest revelation so far. They started floating in the air. Did I hear that right? The larger the group, the easier, more freely. Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like a swarm of mechanical flies. Slow down, Doctor. You say crystals, or rather flies. Which one is it? Call it whatever you want. These creatures have a precise threefold symmetry, resembling the letter Y with three-pointed arms connecting in a central bulge. Black as coal in direct light, shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflected light. As my colleague Osterhaus mentioned, they somewhat resemble the abdomens of certain terrestrial insects. Is Markovnik there? The navigator's unavailable right now. Well, please let him know we'll submit our reports as soon as he's available. Oh, and have him send us another transporter, will you? Autonomous robots the size of flies. It's not finished. Let's keep listening. Hello, convoy. Anka, come in. Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Mm, gets tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. Huh. But... Why? What happened? Scouts came back from this whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. Last saved recording. Amazing. Microbots grouping and flying together, similar to flies, capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I've figured it out, partially at least. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field, the field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. Now, at first I thought it was a sensoric malfunction, after all the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Usually it concerns long-term effects, months and years of unfavorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. So that's how... Merit and everybody else. <sighs> Most probably. Another known effect of the EM field is memory loss. The human organism continues to function normally, but the human being is such as helpless, vulnerable. Like a baby, they don't understand the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? I can't be sure. There's no precedence. And Even then we live room for development. Learning everything all over. Yeah. They won't they won't remember anything. Even language. Their past, our voyages together. Let's face it, this new life of theirs will be far from normal. There'll be aged children, walking curiosities, oddities, lab rats. All yeah. that made them gone to hell. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. It'd be worth examining. Confirm at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. Nothing. Huh. Give it a try. Do anything here? I 
guess that was it. Sorry, dude. But the brain, but that's probably what caused the whole problem. I've located one of the transporters, sir. But please don't celebrate yet, though. Something strange has happened to it. Get to the point, please. What's wrong with it? The outer shell is damaged. There are holes everywhere. Like from bullets? No. It looks like it's been corroded by strong acid. Well, thought I could see something in there, but I guess not. It's growing. The door to the cargo bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. What is that? It's too awkward to squeeze in. The whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes. But can you see past them? Not quite yet. Now. We can see broken containers. Bet that's what caused it. No sign of the flies. Just plenty of bushes. You have some theory, sir. The flies grew. Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. The flies grew into the bushes. You go ahead, sir. As I see it, no idea is too absurd right now. Yeah. I quite thought it through. Not yet. Maybe after I listen to your assessment. Well, look, I think it might work like this. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes. Just like the fruits. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects. And the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession, do I correctly conclude that you are confident that this can be a life form? I would say it is. Given the age of the oldest forms and the evidence of continued activity, differentiation, a particular drive towards miniaturization, improvement, and lethal effectiveness. I dare say that we are dealing with an evolution here. Far longer than that of human. Also very different. And dead. Necro evolution. Mortuus evolutiosis. I still don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate, form bushes, absorb raw material, and they are again ready to transform and relocate to a new source, and so on and so forth. And I can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being I've ever heard of, with all the skepticism that comes with it. The second transporter is under a force field. It's hovering above the ground. So it is operational. Probably also in better shape than the other one. Uh, it certainly looks better. I wonder if I can drive it. be intact then. The force field melted adjacent rocks. They had to run the generator on full power. They were defending themselves after all. From the swarm of flies, I presume. We don't know how large it was. They didn't capitulate. That's a good sign. Oh, well, I don't know that. So far, I can only confirm that the field has not dissipated. Yet. There are powerful emitters in the center. Similar to those on Energobots. Emitters only? Do they look like they're buried in the ground? Yeah. Yeah. Then you're looking at the top of the Energobot. Well, look carefully. Energobots can bury themselves in such a way that only the emitters protrude from the surface. 
How big is that damn thing? I know how to get inside. Under this field. Will you dig a tunnel? I won't have to. There's already an entrance. I just need to get to it. Alright, how do I do that? Up there, maybe? Why didn't I see that when I was over here? Did I just trip? <laughs> How convenient that there is a way through here. Yes, now focus. What now? Well, we get get to the invincible for one. Probably try and steal that transport. Astrogator, I found their probe. Looks like it hid from the flies, or just ended up here by pure luck. Luck indeed. The registry could be valuable, especially if it managed to photograph <laughs> everything from a greater distance. Oh, come here, little probie. Oh, that didn't work. It flew away. Is it scared of you too? Uh, I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary. I won't be able to bring the probe down unless I find a working controller. Hmm. In the tube, maybe? Or from this guy? Nope, guess not. Well, maybe you keep moving forward. Probably it's in the transport. I got inside the field. Do you copy, sir? Of course. The force field doesn't block radio waves. That's cool. I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're going to take the whole transport. Hell You'll yeah. Have flies in large numbers and a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. But before you leave, you need to take down the force field. So first, the Energo bot, turning off the force field, then transporter, departure. All clear? This thing is huge. All good and clear as the sky is blue. Just waiting for things to go sideways. Yeah. Oh, I, I turned to the right. I don't know what all this journal I'm doing. Yes, it's around here. Oh, people. Somewhere. The field is no longer a problem. Disabled. What am I doing in here? What is the point of me coming in here? Just as I thought, the equipment's still active, but everyone here is dead. Okay, so what's the point of me coming in here? <laughs> oh, the force field's down. Duh. Okay, now I can go. Hi, 
Well, now I'm moving a damn bus. Before you leave, though, please check that the cargo is intact. Why'd I blink? Ah, all good. Hey, new tires. Another probe. Will this really help our people, Astrogator? It will, I'm sure. So what? Off we go. Yasna, what are you wondering about? Uh, yeah, sure. I got lost for a moment there because of the flies. You'll have a lot of time to think about it. Now we have to check if you'll be able to leave with this transport. Of course. I'm on it. Although, first, I'd like to see them up close. Very well. Just hurry up. It's just dirt. Dangerous. Yasna, what have you done? I I'm watching them, nothing more. Don't worry, sir. What? Some goddamn black hole has left them in distress this world. And you say not to worry. Just look outside, Doctor. Shoot for yourself. What? What? Close it, close it, close it. Go, bitch. Close the fucking door. See it from orbit? They just don't know how to turn on headlights. to know what my killers were getting killed anyway by people I, I don't know if i should interrupt your uh, speech sir it is quite interesting to listen to yes sir <laughs> <laughs> this is too much i'll ask you how many times already mm. how did i get over here
I'm not doing it on purpose. It's not like I'm looking for problems where there aren't any. The task is extremely difficult. <laughs> it is. At least we learnt the truth about this planet and the inorganic beings that inhabit it. What good does that do us, though? We know the cause of the stupor. Maybe we can find a way to cure Koval. If anyone from the Alliance survived, and they already started their research into a cure. I wouldn't count on it. It's more likely they're all dead. Not necessarily. It's a large base, and I only found a few bodies. The rest of them must be somewhere. I've been taking notes. Or you'll find more corpses, Yasna. Hey! Something changed. The balloon over the base disappeared. You mean it flew away, or did it fall to the ground? Because after oh, that, should it probably it's fall. If it caught the west wind, it would have fallen in this area. We're lucky. It's hanging from a cliff, close to the ground. Can you get to it? Unhook it. Damn it. Maybe that won't be necessary. Looks like it's already on the ground. Oh, shit. Somebody's here. If all you're seeing is dots on the tracker. No. I can see them with my own eyes. I'm not moving, Two though. Two of them, even. Two people. Alive. Huh? One. Where did they go? Have you lost them? Well, I can't see them now. They were here just a second ago. Are you sure? What did they look like? One People was wearing suit? an alliance suit, a green one. The other one, I don't know. He looked different. I see. And now they are nowhere to be found. Damn right. Doctor. Oh, just a moment ago. My consciousness was over the ocean. I saw a big black cloud that appeared out of nowhere, which I then forgot. And now these ghosts. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The sight of them was so vivid. Just for a moment. Well, there was I've that. I've been looking for someone for so long. I suggest focusing on what's certain. That balloon is still there, is it not? If it had operational cameras, we might get some answers. You don't have to convince me, Astrogator. I'm going. The rover is nearby if needed. Good to know. Thank you. Where's the rover? How are you feeling? Shitty, but I'll do. Let me just say this. Literally everything hurts. I would probably say that too. I don't know where frustration ends and a contused lung begins. But at least... Yes. I'm alive. Uh. <laughs> you know what, sir? It was these flies from the very beginning. What do you mean? My accident, for example. It, it's true, I, I hurt myself badly back then. Damaged the radio. But that's not why I lost my memory. Soon after, flies flew from the bushes. Right. There were bushes there too. They subjected me to an electromagnetic field. Moreover, I believe the same thing happened to our people in the camp. To the antimat in those tunnels. And to the whole convoy. Yes. Mm. So those flies caused all of this? Just have to go into the other side, right? They were over there on the top. 
Is this the way to go? Can I fall? It's over there. Actually, no. I guess I gotta go this way. Follow the tracks, I guess. It was over here, right? Oh, press the wrong button again. Damn it. I mean, I can't go this way. I just gotta make it right. God, I hate how quiet it is. Oh, what? Hmm. Yes? Anything new? Astrogator, I have a question. Of course, I'm listening. What altitude can I reach in a flying saucer? The Alliance's saucer? Is there one? Yes. And it seems to be in one piece. That's great news. I can confirm that you can fly to Dragonfly. If it's not too large, has a functional propulsion system, and you haven't forgotten everything from your piloting course, and if the Alliance engineers didn't screw up the robots, it might work. There are many unknowns, but let's hope for the best. I'm inside. I'd say fuck everything and just get out of here. If the, if this ends the game, I'm I'm cool with it. <laughs> right. The engines are functional. There's a vertical thrust. But I want more story. Yeah, I want more sound. lore. This could actually work. It's gonna malfunction. Okay. Time to take off. So far, so good. Saucers in takeoff position. Are you able to increase altitude? I'm checking. Should I wait for the humming to go higher pitch because it is shit what's nope. going on Failed. the warning lights are activating and the source is not lifting at all that doesn't necessarily mean anything bad ascension requires maximum power just give the engine some time okay let's check the controls Everything's fine here. Ooh. It steers smoothly. Oh, there's something on the radar. Oh, wow. What a perspective. To see the same terrain from above. Do I upgrade to flying saucer? I can see the entire riverbed. <laughs> it's clear now that the water used to flow here. It shaped these slopes. Hey, 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 hey! What are you... What happened? I didn't do anything. The, the saucer suddenly dropped and crashed into the ground. Shit! The generator cover must have cracked open. Evacuate immediately. No chance it'll fly again. It's a good thing it failed this way. It could have been considerably worse. So much for hope. Don't worry. This is just one of their saucers. I'm sure you'll find another fully functional. You know, for a starship, that's a pretty cool design. I'm just saying. <laughs> no wonder they called it a flying saucer. Right, where am I going? Gone away from my destination. Try to go for a flying saucer ride. Yeah, there we go. Is that it? Can't see with his damn fucking pillar in the way. I'm going 
getting close to this fallen balloon. <laughs> ah, what's so funny? Uh, oh, nothing, sir. It's just, in my mind, it sounded like... like the title of some Renaissance painting. The Fallen Balloon of Regis. <laughs> yes, exactly. I found the recorder. The Fallen Recorder of Regis. <laughs> Please stop. All right. Let's see what it took. Might have seen a lot of things. From the top. Let's see. The 25th day of the mission. Morning. Let's get some sunlight so we can see what's going on. There we go. The balloon goes up. You can see the immediate surroundings of the base. Eleven people? They're operating at full capacity. The no, base two, is active. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Huh. I didn't see that from below. They parked several vehicles on top of a nearby hill. The balloon is River. moving away from the base. Which direction? Approximately south. It found some water reservoirs. Many of them. Rocks, water, sand. Anything noteworthy? No, not really. No people, units, nor significant changes in the surroundings. The balloon's completing its loop. It seems quieter at the base. But there's still a few people. Two vehicles that weren't there before. And they're grouping up. A dozen people gathered in the square, next to the vehicles. What's this? Oh, they've left. There are no vehicles. All of them, probably. There's no one. They must have set off towards their old base. Or to the ship. The subsequent shots are similar to each other. They show an empty base. There are actually quite a few of these. Is it checking, taking photos every time? And that's probably me. Oh. Captured the moment I entered the base. And it's empty again. At two o'clock in the afternoon. I was on my way to the convoy by then. So we won't find out anything else. Oh. What? Wait. You're wrong. Someone was in the base. A man. So he's real after all. Yes, I I'm not crazy. I saw him. I never suggested you were. But nevertheless, I apologize. Shouldn't have doubted your words, Hasna. But where is this man now? And can we expect any more? I think he's near the base. Charging by the last slide. The Alliance must have a hideout there. And we need to go back, I guess. Alright, guess we're going back. Well, that's all the time I got for today, guys. Man, so much crazy shit's been going on. I wonder... Oh, I wonder if there's any survivors. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't yet, please like, subscribe. Um, I, And I, I hope you guys are enjoying the story so far. I'm trying not to check everything out so I don't miss anything. Uh... Even though as much as I want to get off this planet and call it a day, but I don't know. I just want to, I just, I really don't want to miss any, any bit of the story. That's why I'm trying to scan everything or actually I haven't really been using the scanner much, to be honest. I don't know if I'm supposed to be or I because it detects metal. We know that, but I don't know if I'm supposed to be using it constantly. I 
track or haven't really used because there's usually a prompt where it tells me when to use it but i don't know but yeah thank you guys so much for tuning in if you haven't yet again like subscribe and i'll see you on the next one bye